brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation. Zulu Point 2 once again sets the standard. And by XMWX Satellite Weather. Never fly blind again. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOPA Summit at Hartford, Connecticut. Behind me is the Flight Design C4. Now this is a new design from Flight Designs, a company that's better known for LSAs. Here at Summit, they've announced their engine choice. It's a new power plant from Continental called the IO360AF. And the interesting thing about it is it's designed to burn lower octane fuel. Here's Continental's Rhett Ross to tell us more about it. So we're looking at today the uh, Continental Motors IO360 base engine. However, this engine is being modified and developed to address alternative fuels for the future. Uh, specifically, we're looking at being able to operate on unleaded fuels internationally. And so we are changing the way the engine uh, is, uh, has its compression ratio, uh, some fuel system changes, and some other basic things to just make it more flexible in its international operating environment. The engine is configured for the immediate applications that we're targeting will be in about the 180 horsepower range. Um, the underlying engine, again, depending upon manifold pressure and uh, RPM setting, uh, is still an engine that's rated up into the 200 plus range. We're maintaining it as a low compression ratio engine. Um, the advantage to that is a lower compression ratio reduces its sensitivity to knock uh, when using lower octane fuels. Um, it comes at a small performance or efficiency penalty, but nothing substantial. Um, we're also retuning uh, the fuel injectors, we're retuning the fuel system uh, just to make it more adaptable to the different fuels you might see out there. As customers become more comfortable with our FADEC, then we could see that that, that will be adapted to this. Well, obviously, uh, this engine today goes to many places, but when you look at the fact that uh, Europe, uh, Africa, South America, Asia, all have budding and developing uh, general aviation infrastructures and have a huge demand for pilot training for commercial applications. We see a great deal of opportunity in those regions for an engine that is flexible on the fuel it uses. These are still going to be in that 90 plus, 95 plus octane rating. And again, you've got to be careful with octane ratings. Um, there are almost as many octane rating certifying uh, elements as, as there are aircraft manufacturers out there. So we're really looking at from an apples to apple, we would be looking at this would be suitable for a 94UL, which is your avgas without um, lead in it. Uh, it would be suitable for kind of that uh, 93 racing fuel that you see out there somewhere. But pretty much we're looking in that higher 90s octane rating on an apples to apple comparison.